And welcome back, everybody, to Hands on Apologetics. We're chatting with a good friend, Kenny Burchard, talking about what do you mean by Roman Catholic. And uh, Kenny, you were just sharing a friend, uh, and I think that's a very telling uh, anecdote where uh, yeah. he talks about the Roman Catholic denomination. Right. Yeah. And this was in a, this was in, you know, I don't know if you use the messenger app, but I use the messenger app to talk to a lot, a lot of my friends. And this is a guy I engage with regularly and he was sharing my journey and he was really confused and concerned. And I was sharing, you know, some of my reasons for becoming Catholic. And he said, you know, in the course of our, of our dialogue, he said, Kenny, I, I see what you're saying. I just, I just don't see how I could ever be part of the Catholic denomination or the Roman Catholic denomination. And you're taught to think in that way as a, as a Protestant. You have to. It's intrinsic to the way that Protestants think uh, that, you de- that you denominate or you name yourself along the lines of particular theological loyalties that you have or loyalties to particular uh, doctrines or the- theological um, systems or even people, you know, who are the the authors of those <laughs> theological systems. So you denominate yourself, uh, which, which, if you think about the word Catholic, is really contrary to Catholicity. To denominate yourself uh, in a particular way is different from uh, Catholicity, which is a universal sort of wrapping your arms around the whole people of God under the lordship of Jesus. But, but denominationalism is so intrinsic to the way that Protestantism works, that it's projected out of itself onto other things that don't think that way, like like Catholicism. Catholicism doesn't yeah. think in terms of denominations. But so my friend said, I just can't see myself joining the Catholic denomination. Well, that sounds like fingernails on a chalkboard to a, a well-informed Catholic who knows not, doesn't just believe, but knows that the Catholic Church isn't a denomination. So I, you know, I, I, I'm kind of, uh, I kind of poke on on people. It's part of my personality, but I say, I say, well, the Catholic Church isn't a denomination. It's just the Church. <laughs> and then I yeah. just go quiet. I just go quiet, and it's like, what's going to happen next? You know. But so I say, well, the, the Catholic Church isn't isn't a denomination. It's just the Church. It's just the Church of Jesus. And this will usually provoke people to say, well, I mean the Roman Catholic Church. Ah, well, now we have some more, you know, um, that that we need to talk about. What do we mean Roman Catholic? Well, we don't mean the denomination headed by the Pope. That's some offshoot of true Christianity. Um, what what Catholics mean, which is probably a good good place to start, what Catholics mean by the word Roman is the rite that they celebrate at the Mass, period. <laughs> now, now, why Roman is that it's, it's the Western Church. This is where Rome is in the West, and the Bishop of Rome is the pastor of the Universal Church, and he also uh, is in Rome. He's the Bishop of the Diocese of Rome, but there are other Catholic churches in the world, in other parts of the world, the east, the, uh, the east of, of Rome, the eastern part of the world. And in, in those churches, other rites are celebrated, eastern rites that are different from the Roman rite. And uh, the, again, uh, Gary, I didn't know this, you know, before I was Catholic. Um, no. I just thought they, they all did everything the same way. And when I thought of East and West, I thought, well, Orthodox and Roman Catholic. I didn't realize that there were Catholic churches celebrating the same rite as <laughs> the Eastern uh, churches in the, in, the Orthodox, um, in the Orthodox churches, the Byzantine and so many other rites. And I and I won't I would go through it all right now, but but there's a great article uh, actually put out uh, by Ascension Press that talks about all the different rites 
and all the different churches that celebrate those rites. And, and the title of it, which was shocking to me, you know, my, my previously Protestant ears is the other 23 Catholic churches. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what, what? What do you mean the other 23 Catholic churches? I thought there was only one Catholic church, the Roman Catholic Church. Well, this great little helpful article says, no, there's there's one Catholic church, but there are 23 churches in 24 churches inside of that Catholic church. One of them celebrates the Roman rite in two forms, the extraordinary and the extra uh, and the uh, and the uh, ordinary and the extraordinary form uh, of the Roman rite. But there are and according to this article, there are six other rites that are celebrated in these 23 other Catholic churches. And so a Catholic who's thinking right never means Roman Catholic by virtue of a denomination. He or she only means Roman Catholic by virtue of the rite that is celebrated in the liturgy. Now, there is another or a couple of other things that you can say about Rome, for sure. One <laughs> is that that's where the the universal pastor of the church lives, you know, and that's where the, the church is headquartered in Rome. <clears throat> so we definitely mean, you know, that, that that's where HQ is, as it were, <laughs> headquarters is, as it were, and that that's where the universal pastor, the pope, who is the successor of St. Peter, the first bishop of Rome. So all of those are ways in which we can say Rome or Roman. But it's not to the exclusion of all of these other Catholics in the world who don't celebrate the same rite uh, that we celebrate. I'll say one more thing and this let you jump in if you want to. Um, I, I kind of wanted to see this for myself, like what it, what it looked like in terms of liturgical celebration. And so near our house here, near our home here in Virginia Beach, we went to an Eastern Rite Catholic church. This is a church that's in communion with the Bishop of Rome, but doesn't celebrate the Roman Rite. They celebrate a Byzantine Rite. And I was blown away. How, well, first of all, how, how similar and how different our rites were in terms of structure and content. But one thing was clear to me when we were celebrating the Mass together, just like in our rite, the Roman rite, we prayed for the Bishop of Rome and acknowledged him as the successor of St. Peter in the liturgy. And that's what we mean as Catholics. When we talk about being Catholic, we mean we're in communion together with one another, with the Bishop of Rome, with the successor of St. Peter and all the bishops in communion with him all over the world, and that we are one church made of many churches who celebrate different rites, but who all have the same ancient ancestral heritage going back to the apostles. 